I've just pulled over to try and get a view. Come here, little fellas. And look at these two little fellas. <laughs> they just came from over the hills. You know where their owners are. So cute, they're just chained together, taking each other for a walk. Come here, little one. Look at this one. So those two cute little dogs that were chained together, we did start to get a bit worried. We were totally worried. We thought that we'd just got two new dogs and we thought they'd been abandoned. Because they came from a direction over there. They just where... came from the mountain, chained together, and there was there was nobody here. There the was only a car, car down there and then it left, so we were like, oh my god, they haven't been abandoned, have they? Surely not. Yeah. We're quite worried then that we're about to have two two new little friends to take around Europe with That's us. So cute. Twenty minutes later, luckily A guy ke a guy whistled. came out of the petrol station and whistled and and that was it and, and they went off in that yeah. direction otherwise we'd have been going to the petrol station up here the restaurant and, and just it checking weird how he just left them like that mm. very strange but it's hey, crazy man. and now we were going to go out and take some pictures and maybe get a time lapse of the clouds coming in but got <laughs> distracted with the dogs they've come in so you can't see anything now yeah so at least charlie got to meet some new little friends it was very cute thank you this bit Charlie, we're about to leave in a minute, so you're probably too scared to stay in the back, aren't you? That better? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, all that. He's just going to come and sit back on Mama's lap. <laughs> So this is the highest point the dogs have ever been, I think, at 2,400 metres. We've just come up over the peak and we're heading back down to France now. Driving through the clouds. Ten minutes ago it was pretty clear and then all of a sudden... Quite crazy exit of Andorra. Just, well, not quite as dramatic as coming in, but pretty stunning waterfalls just cascading. We're looking towards France, which is looking a bit stormy. Wait, I don't think, I mean, I'm sure we must cross a border, but obviously we haven't crossed a border yet, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, this is like no man's land in between, isn't it? Yeah, the road's really rough and crap, because um, obviously, yeah, they don't care about the French coming in to get their cheap fags and booze and cigarettes and sugar, whatever else is cheap. We just filled up at the petrol station just before coming across and it was like a massive petrol station. It was like, I don't know, 20, 30 counters. Yeah. So obviously all the French come over. We couldn't fill up our waters. The people there were quite rude. You couldn't pay on card. It was only cash, but you know, the fuel's cheap. So like we filled up with up. diesel. And we're coming up to the border now, so I better stop filming. And we'll see you in France. There was no border control. Car graveyard, loads of all the cars with flat tires and bumped, and probably from smuggling cigarettes from Andorra. They've been yeah. seized or whatever. Um, yeah, but we didn't show our passports, so we've just driven straight through the border. There was a border there, but nobody on. There was no police, no customs, nothing. It was just like it had been abandoned. So anyway. I take it that we're in France. Happy? Wee oui, wee oui, wee! Oui. Time to start practicing our French. And it's raining again. We're in a little place called Lo, L L O. Which um, looks really nice. We did a nice drive past some really pretty little French villages. Yeah. Um, it's our first stop because it was quite sort of close to, you know, leaving Andorra. We didn't want to drive for age. It's getting late, like it's seven o'clock now. So we just thought we'll stop here. But it looks really, really pretty. So we're looking forward to this rain to stop. So we could actually go out and have a little look around. But Let's have a cup of coffee and decide what we're going to do. 
Now we're in France. Yay! <laughs> Talk about enthusiastic. There's <laughs> new country day. Come on, wakey wakey. <laughs> He's knackered. And we're driving to the coast. Into this. Might take us a little bit longer to get to the coast than we planned. So far, we've had about two and a half minutes of no rain since we've been in France. <laughs> in those two and a half minutes, we decided to get the bikes off, get the ladder out, take everything out of the boot, check on the solar panels, and yeah, and then it started raining. So we had to put it all back. Gosh. I'm just gonna over here, I'm gonna put it over here and let people. We've got loads of traffic behind us because obviously we don't know the roads at all and so we're going slow in this look mist. Look at this view. I mean, look at that view. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So it's still pouring with rain, really tipping it down, but we thought we had to stop at this crazy little village. It's stuck up in the mountains. Check this out though. Lovely weather to be walking through a really old walled city. Quite cool though, wandering through. A little alleyway even down the old street. It does add to it as it's pouring out with rain. Surrounded by cliffs as well. Like it's it's kind of like something out of a Jurassic Park type movie, the cliffs or a King Kong type movie, the surroundings. Proper Jurassic, so, isn't it? Yeah. Crazy little town just nestled in the Pyrenees. It's Boy. Hello. Look how cute he is. Come here. He's a bear in a half. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been told off by his owner. Enjoy. <laughs> Here's a colourful little place. Wow, how inviting is that? I'm not sure you want to take this seat. Oh. <laughs> That's where you don't sit. <laughs> that would hurt. So this crazy little wall town of Villa Francais de Confluent, I think it is. Max is right. It's just crazy. From the road, it looks like a big old fort. And it's not until you look through the archway that you see this really old little, really pretty little town. Yeah, you just don't realise that behind the four walls is going to be a whole town of people living in little shops and, and this, that and the other. So It's really it's nice cool. to have a quick walk around a couple of main streets, but unfortunately it's raining, so... <laughs> so we're going to run back to the van now. <laughs> Go on. landing if you like but what a lovely little location so you can see the van just behind us over there lovely little river here really nice little bridge loads of little paths and walkways yeah. for the dogs to run around so we're gonna have a proper explore in the morning i think now because it's quite late but very peaceful isn't it surrounded by cliffs you can just hear the birds singing great little stop for the night and it stopped raining it's actually stopped raining so it's all good guys happy day let's go and get some dinner <laughs> <laughs> 